But uh, let's see here. So talking about bills, right? We have a couple bills here um, that are, are coming across. Uh, some of them, you know, uh, are more urgent than others. Um, but here's one on stable coin regulation that Mike Novogratz is talking about because the Democrats are actually, uh, there's a bill that's being put across with part of it being, uh, the stablecoin regulation aspect of it, and the Democrats don't like that part of the bill, and so they're trying to basically rewrite the bill and slow it down um, for that reason. Um, whereas Mike Novogratz here is saying that the Democrats, by doing that, are shooting themselves in the foot. Um, the billionaire investor said Democrats are shooting themselves in the foot uh, for blocking that part of the stablecoin uh, regulation. Um, so let's let's read this one here for you guys. There are there has been a growing concern about how regula regulation bordering on stable coins will eventually shape out in the United States with an initial hiccup experienced when the anticipation bill designed for the unique tokens was presented in the House. As reported earlier by CoinGate, Republican Congressman Patrick McHenry said their Democratic counterparts could not come to a compromise with respect to the bill creating a stalemate, right? They came back to Congress in July, hoping to get some regulatory clarity with crypto. They've been trying to do that from the Republican side, but the Democrats are not having it apparently, right? So Mike Nogratz shares his take here. He says um, he's the CEO of Galaxy Digital and a billionaire investor. He says the Democrats uh, might be shooting themselves in the foot for their attempts to block the stablecoin bill. McHenry posited uh, earlier that Americans deserve clarity for payment stablecoins and there has been a good faith bipartisan work to deliver that clarity, but the Democrats are blocking efforts made thus far. Noting importantly that the back block stage is being done at the behest of the White House, Mike Novogratz said crypto regulation, including those involving stablecoins, should not have been treated as a partisan issue, right? It is money. It is for both sides uh, there, right? Uh, Novogratz echoes the sentiment of many other vocal industry stakeholders who believe the anti-crypto war can cost the Democratic uh, Democrats their popularity at the very eve of an election year. Like I said, it, uh, if there's anything else, right, that you're looking at in the election, I'm usually care less about uh, national politics because uh, I'm a little jaded when it comes to that. But when it comes to crypto, I do think it is actually an AI specifically, both crypto and AI, any brand new technology, which can massively impact everybody's lives is very important to at least understand what their take on it is. And then just do your best to unelect those officials basically next year. Uh, stating it categorically, Novogratz and Democrats said Democrats will lose voters as a great deal of Americans believe in progress. A sentiment he shared considering the fact that the majority of investors in the nascent industry are millennials and Gen Zs. The, uh, the blockage of the payment uh, stablecoin bill came at the time when six Democratic members supported the broader bill, marking a unique absence in Congress. Future U.S. regulation for crypto, as far as uh, crypto regulation is concerned in the United States, there is a clear divide among regulators, politicians, and industry stakeholders. While the industry sees the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, the CFTC, as a pro-crypto regulator, the SEC, uh, Securities and Exchange Commission, is considered a bad faith regulator that is exerting undue influence through regulation by enforcement and being friends with Sam Bankman-Fried. Um, especially Gary Gensler. Despite the differences, the general consensus is that the crypto space needs regulators. And while American watchdogs may not want to tra uh, trial their or yeah uh, trail sorry their counterparts in Europe who have floated MICA, the need to prevent FTX like implosion in the near term is considered a motivation that can help bring the desired change. Right. So if you don't want to have criminals like Sam Bankman Fried going around. Um, you know, it's probably good to get some regular regulatory clarity when it comes to crypto. So it is a not a wild west and everybody's, you know, doing all this stuff. Now, uh, there is some suspicion on my end as to why, right, they're trying to push these bills through Congress very, very fast, right? Of course, part of that is there is only, you know, uh, a few months before everybody's really focused on, on uh, re-election campaigns. So I get that part of it. But on next week, when I do that show that I've been talking about earlier today, uh, that will probably get the least amount of views of my channel for that week. That one is going to be, in my opinion, really, really important um, for kind of how this is all shaking out.